There's no doubt that when people socially gather, when they mix, whether it's at a wedding, whether it's at big events like the Transmit Festival, I myself was at an event, Eid in the Park, over the course uh, of, of, of the weekend when our celebration of Eid was taking place. There must have been a couple of thousand or a few thousand people uh, at that event too. There's always concerns, but people can take sensible precautions. We know those sensible precautions uh, that we, we can take. And look, chiefly amongst those, is making sure you're vaccinated for whatever dose you're eligible for. Whether it's the first dose, or whether it's your booster dose, or anything in between, make sure you get yourself vaccinated. But case numbers will rise uh, because of that, and, and, and as I said, we're not powerless in the face of that. There's precautions that we personally, as individuals, uh, can take to help to alleviate some of the pressure. So I would say that the last two weeks, so last week and the week before, were probably the peak weeks of, of this current wave that we're, we're currently in. Um, I would say they're probably amongst the most pressured two weeks of almost the entire pandemic. Now, a whole host of factors came together. Planned summer leave, understandably so, staff were actually taking uh, planned leave throughout the course of summer. Uh, Greater Glasgow and Clyde had, I think, almost between eight to 900 people uh, absent uh, due to COVID-related reasons, and then you had sickness absence on top of that uh, as well. So those factors accumulating together have made a really, really challenging, uh, made the last couple of weeks really, really challenging for the health service, including, of course, in Greater Glasgow and Clyde. It certainly looks, uh, from the ONS figures that have come out over the last couple of weeks, the rate of increase in terms of case numbers has definitely slowed down. That's a positive. This week's case numbers, uh, we'll get those on, on, on Friday, of course, from the ONS. Uh, if they continue to show that rate of increase slowing down, I think we can safely say that we'll be past uh, the, the peak of this current wave. But let's not uh, be complacent in the slightest. It's still extremely challenging.